Hey guys, let me stop you. I have fall down from the chair. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube. Why must I do my hair like this? Mom? Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's good to have you back. Yeah? Yeah. I was trying to compose a song for you, but it might not be good, yeah, but welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back for you. I'm happy that you're back. Ah, hey, oh you on oh, my YouTube channel. Who are they? What? No, tell me who are they? Who is that daddy? <laughs> my serious thoughts. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad to have you back. I'm glad to have you back. Moving on. <clears throat> Guys, I cannot tell you how many times I filmed this particular video. Let's say seven times or ten times. I'm not even exaggerating right now. You know the forces that are against me doing this video. They're living, they're living around me like this. There's people in my, not even my compound. The next one, five away. They see one of my younger sister living in this house with me. She's part of the forces. You just suddenly hear a shout. But today, I already told her. If I should hear pain, just small pain, I will beat. I'll beat Jesus into her life. I know she has, but I'll still beat more into her life. <laughs> but really, guys, like, it's been a struggle to, like, film in this house. And Nepa, the Nepa, the matters. She just brought that long. After, the first one I did, I was just sweating like a fowl. I just knew that I could not use that one. So, but Nepa, the brought light. So, let's just do it. Like, I'm still sweating, though, but we move on. Without much ado, let's just jump right into this video. You guys will know from the topic already what I'm going to be talking about today, and it is. I wish I had megaphone to now right now. Why am I playing this much? I wish I had megaphone right now to be able to like loud it. I need somebody to hear me loud. Whatever you are, please hear me loud it. It is body shaming. It's body shaming. Body shaming. Body shaming. See, you see this topic here. Eh? It's personal. Thing. So I might take it personal at a point in this video. Please send me do where I manage it. Thank you. <laughs> but you guys, I'm mean, like this video is actually very personal to me. So I might take it personal, but please let me just be fun. Let me manage it, like I said. Let me manage it. So moving on, I'll be talking on body shaming. What is body shaming? Body shaming is when you make insultive, humiliating comments about someone's body. That's what body shame. That's like the general meaning for body shaming and this thing is rampant these days i ain't even gonna lie hate is rampant it's like everywhere it's like almost everybody is body shaming and i really want to know the reason if i part of you that is to body shame please can you hear me like in the comment section please can you hear me drop the reason why you are body shaming no please i'm begging you can you hear me drop it in the comment section why are body shame? Why you just think of what next to do is go and body shame somebody? Please, I'm begging you. Please let me drop it so I can know your reason. At least I want to know from your side. Why do you body shame people? Please, thank you. Let me drop. Uh, what am I even saying? I'm sure people that watch me, they don't, they don't body shame. No, we're not part of them. You just have to like put it out. So that's why it's, you have to share this video so people that body shame can actually like get to watch this video and be able to maybe go and touch their heart. I know my God to touch their heart and they will just like stop body shaming. Thank you. Because I know you're going to share. So moving on. See, I've already like debated too much. Moving on. Yes, I wrote what I'm going to be writing down. So I will not go and debate and forget some things. Because everything has to be touched. And on this topic, every dot, every T has to be, no, every T has to be crossed. Every I has to be, oh, wow. Like, you need to do better. <laughs> so moving on. Body shaming manifests in different ways. Different people are being body shamed for different reasons. And at this point, I don't get why. Let's say big people are being body shamed, slim people are being body shamed, people with big breasts are being body shamed, people with flat chest, like they say, are being body shamed, people with flat bum are being body shamed, people with big bum bum are being body shamed, people with people that are short are being body shamed. Every like, it's like. 
everyone is being body shamed at this point self please how can we do it what what do we do it's, it's not the worst part of it yes people that just get it people that with the postpartum body oh they are being body shamed too as I was, I was going I was going through Instagram one day and I saw someone's comment, a negative comment on funny thing like this person is a woman the person that made this comment is a woman like this is the case of woman like woman putting woman down like why? and you put on that someone that just gave birth someone was like I think a few weeks after a child birth like she's screaming I saw that like trying to show herself on her Instagram and everything and you come and come and put it like please can you help us manage your weight? please can you help us how did she say? Can you help us manage your weight? Can you help us like reduce the way you are getting big and fat? And I'm like, why would you just think of nothing else in your life that to come and make comments about someone that just bet a child? No. Oh gosh. Well, they don't get hungry. I really want to know why you of all people to body shame, someone that just bet a child, a living child, a child, a life. She just bet a life. And the next thing for his comment says, come help us manage your weight. And I like the way the person's husband replied, please. He said, please can you help us manage yourself out of our, out of our Instagram page. That, that's just true. You, have to, you just need to fuck off. Because I don't know of who, a lot of positive comments. And that's just it. A lot of positive comments. And so people will come and read the positive comments. And the next thing for them to come and do is put their negative comments there. No, it's not necessary. It's not necessary. So these are not necessary in this life. And that's part of things that are not necessary. Your negative comment is not necessary. Like, your negative talk is not necessary. Really. It's not necessary. Moving on, before my, this video is super long. Like, body shaming is bullying. Hmm. It is called bullying. Some people do it on the internet. That's what they call cyberbullying. Some people do it face to face. That one, they have the infantry. They are not cowards like people that do it on the internet. This one's come and tell you to your face. They are too big, they are too thin. See your hand, see your tight. Ah, too big, your thighs are too big. See your hand, too thin. See your head, too big. See your eyes, too big. See your breast, too big. See your chest, flat. See your bum bum, too big. See your bum bum, flat. See you, too tall. See you, too short. No, how do you want to satisfy human beings? Well, I should be tired, more lie alone. How at this point, like, I don't see why. We have to talk in everything because I just feel like the problem of people that actually do this body shame are the body shame people is the problem of not knowing when to keep quiet and not knowing when to stop. No, I don't feel like they don't know when to stop. It's the problem of they don't want to stop. They enjoy it and see. I've already figured they are their problem. I've already figured that their problem. This is the problem. Let me tell you. Let me tell you this thing. They themselves people that are body shaming somebody. The problem is not people that are body shaming you. The people that are body shaming somebody. That's where the problem lies because they obviously have insecurities. And the way to cover up their insecurities is by pulling somebody down and making another person feel insecure. Then they are covering up their insecurities, which is actually bullshit. Which is actually why I'm angry that because you are insecure about some things, you should work on yourself and not think of one way to do it is by pulling somebody down. No, that's that's not right. That's all wrong. That's all oh, wrong. All oh, wrong now. All oh, wrong. It's too wrong. Please, if you're part of you that you are you're hiding your insecurities or you are trying to put somebody out because of your insecurities, please you need to stop it and work on yourself. Go 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 self-love. Like I said, go self-love. Go love yourself, please. Go and love yourself. Moving on, like like I was saying, like I understand the aspect of spec. That word spec. People have their spec. People like guys have their spec, girls have their spec. They have what they want in a guy. You have what you want in a girl. I understand that because I actually have to. I had a long list before, but I don't know. Things will make you cut the list down because no guy is perfect. You see some things in a guy. Please let me know the way to spec talk. I can talk on specs some other times. What you want in a guy, what you don't want, and what you see in a guy, what you don't. I can then do that one on another topic entirely. Back to what I'm talking about is spec. People have their spec. Yes, I'm not arguing about that. But what what the problem is when I say like people that are running mad is this is where people that are running mad is. You know that you your spec. You like big girls. 
Why are you gonna gonna go for a thing? A sling? Why? No. In one sentence. In one sentence, you go. In one word, just tell me why. Like, why did you do it? No, just tell me. And I want to know the color of your problem because you know you like big girls. Why did you go for a small girl? Why are you running after a small girl? I am not putting the pressure of your own life on the small girl by telling her to go use drug, to go eat more, to go do this. So she can, you can more than shape out to the kind of person you are, you want her to be, the kind of person you want, which is so, so wrong. If you know you are going for a big girl, if you know your spec is a big girl, then please look for a big girl. See, there are plenty. They are all over. Go look for your own big girl and leave the slim girl. Let the people that like slim girls come for them and not even be able to pressure them and give them any kind of pressure in this life. Please. And people that like slim girls, that go for big girls. <laughs> I give you, I throw this away for you. Because I don't see the sense in what you are doing. I actually don't see, I see no sense in it. You know you like slim girls. You went for a big girl. There's this story I know, but I don't feel like I want to say like completely. I'm just going to give you guys small, small thing. You know this girl is a big girl. She's on the big side, and you as a guy, you like slim girls. Not so, not so slim, but slim girl, sure. Not as big as she is. You go to why you guys are talking low and everything. There's no time to make it official. And I tell her that she should go to the gym. She should go and slim down. She should go and, in fact, you will pay for the gym. She will use your money to slim down. No, cause so for me in one word. Any problem? No. Now I'm talking calmly. Now. What's your problem? Because I don't understand. You know what actually pisses me off the most is ladies that actually like. I I, I really don't blame them. This I really don't blame them. People that actually like do this thing because they want to satisfy somebody because they don't want someone to keep talking about them. So because I want to satisfy the guy, I go to the gym. No. I don't feel like. I don't think you should do that because you want to satisfy a guy. Because there's no way you can actually like satisfy somebody. You can't satisfy a woman be. You don't know that. Uh, you cannot. Oh, Lepton Marai, you can't satisfy a woman be. So you feel like if you go to the gym, you will think of another thing that, want, that you wanted to do too. So I feel like if you want to slim down, let it be because you want to slim down. If you want to be fatter, let it be because you want to be fatter. Let nobody push you into what you don't want to do. No, do that because that is what you really want to do. Yeah, because that is what you want. Sit at yourself and talk to yourself. Am I fat? Do I look fat to myself? Do I want to see that? Do I like myself this way? If I don't like myself this way, I go to the gym. If I like myself this way, leave it. Somebody that is for you, your guy, your girl, anybody that is for you, your baby, your boo, that is for you, they will come for you. I can assure you that. I swear. They will come for you. But that is where you actually have already pushed the thousand people away. Then those people who have the chance, there's free passage for them to come into your life and come and bless you. And come and be a blessing. I even be surprised that where are these people being since? Where where did the way they come from? You get, get, you get, you get what I'm saying? I find it's not even about partners that are body shame these days. Oh, <clears throat> people that don't know you. It's not, you've not heard of it. People that don't know you at all. That they have not seen you. Those ones to body shame. You will just walk in on you, they come and tell ah, just you need to work out. You are, you are getting too big. How is your business, sir? Ma? How is it? Is it your business? Like, it's getting rampant. And funny thing is that these things are the people that body shame. I don't know if we know, if we know that it actually like messes with people's self confidence. And it's bad. And in some cases, it can lead to people having suicidal thoughts. Yes, is that bad? People can have suicidal thoughts. Because of the things that you say, that you don't. Some people, yeah, some, some people don't know that what they say is actually bad. But some people know that what they say is bad. Category, there are two different categories like that. People that body shame unconsciously, people that body shame consciously, intentionally. Those are another set of people. Whatever category you are, I think we just need to start working on ourselves and be able to know that it's not every time we need to talk. It's not everything we need to say. And watch what we say. If you body shame unconsciously, we need to watch what we say. Yes, this is the time to watch what we say. So, like I was saying, it's going to make people have suicidal thoughts. Please, let, we need to do better on this body shaming thing. We need to do better and start minding our business. Because, actually, let's be sincere. It's not our business. It's actually not our business. People, what people do with their body or anything is not their business. 
I think I'm just going to say a short story about how I've been body shamed before. Like, I'm busted. Yeah, I know I'm busted. You don't have to tell me that I'm busted. Please. You have to tell me. So, like, some that's going to come at me to come and tell me that, ah, Daddy, like, you're so busty. Yeah. Like, you need to do something. Do you know you can do something about your your breast and everything like you can reduce it kill it cock it cock it cock it that person actually put thoughts in my head i was like okay maybe i could go for surgery <laughs> but when i i check for the amount of surgery i said like, ah me yeah, surgery is not the way for me oh. maybe i should look for another way oh. <laughs> sorry <laughs> but i don't have to like ah that's if i i don't have money for surgery now now i be i be calm down so I, I thought of another thing there. Somebody came to me and come and basically came to me and tell and she told me that uh, do you know, there's a way you can try to reduce your breast. I was like, how oh, how oh, what do that? Mix turmeric, it makes um carbonate soda, it makes um alum. She just said a lot of things that I'll mix it together, I'll go to market and buy it. I'll be drinking it. I thought of drinking it too. I thought of drinking it. But a friend also told me that are you mad? So if you drink this thing, is it only your body to reduce or only your breast? Or everybody, or, do you know you can die from drinking this obvious you want to drink? That's when I just figured that, like, what is this? What is that case my problem? Now, that's when I actually said, okay, this is what I'm going to do. My breast, I cannot reduce it. There's nothing I'm going to do about my breast or anything. This is one thing I'm going to do. I'm going to start building my self confidence. I'm going to like my body so much that even if you say rubbish to me, see, I'm ready to attack you and tell you that it's none of your business. That's what I started doing. Right now, I can tell you my building of my self confidence, I'm already at like 50%. I am still bidding on it. It does not stop until you get to a point where you know that. See, I'm already a tough person. I mean, go on. <laughs> Yala, like anybody. Come here. I'm going to give it to you back to back. Please. So, I'm already like that level of 50% or more than 50%, let's say maybe 67. I'm building my self confidence. Or, like, if you come for me, please, I'll tell you it's not your business. It's not your body. Whatever I do with my body, it's not you. And some things are like, what I even was in the, my case is that, guys. Okay, man. There wasn't my case that you're talking to me. You're not looking to my face. You're looking at my breast. Is it my breast that talking to? No, God, tell me. Just tell me. Is it my breast that talking to? So it made me feel somewhere that it made me start wearing shirts, big shirts. And for a funny thing, I'm already used to the big shirts. Eh? Even when I'm building my self confidence, I try to wear um like tight kind of clothes and everything. I just like it was not I, it was not me again. I was already used to wearing the big shirts. I wear big shirts a lot and everything. So, like, why would you be looking at my breasts when you're talking to me? Is it my breasts you're talking to? That's this point I told someone, like, see, my breasts and my body, they're not even for your entertainment. They're not there to entertain you. So it's better you just carry yourself and leave this place down. You don't want me to say what's because the truth is, I'm not the kind of a calm, cool kind of, I'm not so calm, I'm not that cool, please. I have time when my, my brain is touching, but I want to if you know me, you know me that I'm not so good a person. I'm not a bad person. I'm serious. I'm not a bad person. I'm a good person. I'm a very good person. But just that sometimes you just have to show them your other side and don't let them be step on you. Anyhow. Moving on. Yeah, like I was saying, like, we are not like, it's not as if we not liking our body or we anything it's in our body or the way we look it's not our fault it's people that actually made us like that it's negative comments that made us feel like okay maybe my body is not good enough maybe my i'm not looking fine and everything and we start eating on our body it's actually people that do this thing to us and i've i'm very i'm here with good news for you things on what to do to people that body shame you and things on how to like improve on yourself one of the most important things on how to improve yourself is to love yourself self-love love yourself this is time for you to love yourself the more if you want to build on your self-confidence you have to love yourself then you start your self-confidence growth it starts and how to build on your self-confidence one of the most important things is you have to practice self-positive talks get a mirror and if you have a mirror go in front of a mirror and say positive things to yourself <laughs> like five by six what we say <laughs> it's clear until later i want to not do oh no fine no fine she won't come no, for some reason, she ain't one in Connie. So fine. Such a sweet girl. Such, such a sweet child. You took one hundred and one and one million people's fine. You not carry it and tell yourself. You not jam it together. Please. Please. Is it only you? <laughs> I see a lot of this this in myself. And I, and I feel like when I was talking to someone of my friend that was being body shamed and everything, and her self confidence was going down, I had to just tell her, like, see, babe, nobody can love you better than yourself. 
that's what I wanted to know. And it's when you love yourself that you make people see the way they should love you. Nobody can. Nobody. If you love yourself so high, like they want to love you higher than that. Nobody can love you better than yourself. And I have to tell her, I said, see, get your get a mirror, get anything. Talk to yourself. See, you are beautifully made, you are wonderfully. God did not even make any mistake in making you. No, it didn't it didn't make any single mistake. So let, let nobody come come and put you down, come and be telling you that you're not be making you know to go out without wearing jackets. You can't go out with a uh, sleeveless. Why? People people made like people push that to that point. Because she's like anytime she goes out there, I'm telling her you aren't just too thin. Why now? We need to do better. We really, we really, we really need to do better. So as I was saying, practice practice positive self-talk. You need to practice positive self-talk. Number two, speak for yourself. These are things to help you like be self-confident. Oh, I'm still coming for how to push people that how to what to do to put that body shape. Come with that. But number two is speak for yourself. I know some people are calm. They are the calm cool people like they don't want to talk, they don't want to, they don't like voila. And some people are troublesome. Some people not, not like trouble, some people some people are like kind of so outspoken, like if you say something to them, they are ready to like reply you back. I think I'm kind of that person. If you say anything to me, I'm ready for you. See, like some people told me like <laughs> what I'm like, I don't think of answer for so long. I have already made answer in my head. If you say rubbish to me, I'm giving this back to you. But some people are so calm and cool, like if you come if, if you come about shame them, they don't want to talk. See, I actually understand that. There are some people you don't waste your energy on. Like some people you just be like, could they want it? No. This person does not actually want me stressing myself on. No. That kind of situation, please don't stress yourself. Just let the person that is body shaming the stupid person, let the person just go. And just maintain yourself and just be yourself but it's time to actually for us to start speaking up for ourselves speak up for yourself don't let anybody come and step here anyhow and just get away with it please moving on my number three should be be proud of your body like i said self-love you have to love yourself be proud of your body see if you are big be proud of that big hey you don't know so I mean, well, the people want to be that big. That's that's just the way life is. Some people want to be that big. Some people want to be that same. Be proud of your body. Love yourself. Be proud of your body. Number my number four will be do things that make you happy. Surround yourself with people that will make you happy. I can't overemphasize on this point because this is very important. Do things that make you happy. Surround yourself with people that make you happy. I'm saying this thing again and again. So when I started my self-confidence thing, I surrounded myself with people that make me happy and tried to like do it with people that are not making me happy. That's another thing I tried to do. See, this is my friend. If I I know I used to like myself, but the way I'm hyping myself, it's not up to the way she used to like me. She hypes me daily. Let me just drop a picture, or if I don't even drop a picture, she'll just come to my my WhatsApp stuff or Instagram and be like, ah ah. Baby, only you, you can't even do that clinic cooking because she will hype me. I surrender with people like that. I'm surrounded with people that make me happy. That's one way to build your self confidence, please. Because when somebody comes to you or comes for you, be able to be like, ah ah, who, who, who are you? No, who are you? Who is your dad? Because I don't get people that are so important to myself. They love me the way I, I am. They are supporting me. They are doing everything for me. You that are not even important to me, you are saying this bullshit. It's easy for you to push people away. Number four is number five actually is do something that make you feel accomplished. If you have a special talent, if you have an hidden talent, that is time for you to like bring the hidden talent out. That is time for you to show everybody how your special talent is. Do things that actually make you feel accomplished and everything. It builds your self confidence a lot. And number five is you see this anger. It is normal for you to be angry. It's normal for you to get angry when people say awful things to you, awful words to you. It is normal. You're a woman. You're, you're a woman. But though some people, when they say this thing about you, when they're being body shamed, it does not shake them, it does not move them. See, I hear you. You, those people's self confidence is like 101, please. But some of us that were not even in that level yet, when they say these awful things to you, when they say these, these things to us, 
it makes us angry we are sad it is it is acceptable because you can be angry you can be sad but one of the things i don't want is this. you not the thing you're not supposed to do with anger is direct it in the right in the right way and start to build your self confidence and start loving yourself that's where you're supposed to direct this anger to so if anybody's for you and it's against you please and you get your body speak up for yourself and be angry and when you're angry or when you're sad or anything if that's what you are doing the next thing for you to do is with your self-confidence because when they come back next time you're gonna be ready for them and you're not going to be looking like them like let them trash your world stop your unity you were like let me just say my last one right now because I think I'm at the end of this video whatever it is where you are however you are God did not make any mistake. You are beautifully made. I'm saying this again. You are beautifully made. You, you need to start passing that self positive up. You are beautifully made. God, God does not make mistakes. We all know. So the person that made that made you did not make any mistake. Who is it that for someone to come and be telling you things, come and be saying awful things to you? I'm just going to put that out there. Whoever it is that is body shaming you, it's time for you to stand up against that person. And let the person know that they actually don't have any right against your body. They don't have your body. You have things to say for your body. You have to you, you do the right thing for your body. Let nobody come and come from you or say rubbish and quit with you. Please if you allow it. So I think that's the end of my video. If you watch the end, see I really said I need MVP or she Okay, and you will be MVP. Oh shit. Ah, as Clavi, give them. <laughs> if you want to the end, like, thank you so much for watching to the end. Who am I to have somebody like you? No, who am I? <laughs> what? No, who am I? <laughs> but thank you for watching to the end. I really appreciate it. And please, now that you want to the end, like, share, and subscribe. So, people that they are body shaming, they are the body shamers. <laughs> Let them be able to see this video and stop their evil hacks. So, guys, don't forget to subscribe, it's very, very important. Please subscribe. And some people are like, I've asked me that how much does it take to subscribe? Please, subscription is nothing, it does not, you don't pay for it, and you're not paying to subscribe. Please just press the subscribe button down there, it's going to be down somewhere there. The red button, just press the subscribe button. Then, please like this video and share the video. Thank you very much for watching to the end. I'll see you in my next video. God bless you. Bye. It's now that this water want to be full. It's now. Missus, na na na. That this water want to be full. It shall be fun. And it's not stop immediately. That's why I have this pumping machine. I'm very happy. In fact, I'm supposed to sing welcome, welcome song. Welcome back. Yeah, yeah.